All right, so from above water, a lot of good things. Uh, body position is good. You're, you're riding high in the water. You're streamlined. Your hips and legs are, are not sinking. Uh, breathing is comfortable. Extension. Extension is really very good. You might be over-rotating slightly. Um, that's the sort of thing. You know, you want good rotation so that you have that nice long extension. Uh, but you don't want any sort of excessive motion. So that would be something to do with some time trialing with. You know, do a 50 with a lot of rotation and then a 50 Just without quite as much. You do want your shoulders, upper body to rotate. So I'm talking more about your hip rotation than anything. Good kick. That um, right arm is going, actually both your arms are going right up to your center line. You could try and have that extension reach in front of your shoulder rather than right in front of your head. It gives you a little bit of a different angle on the, on the pull. So if you have a wider pull or slightly outside or not under your body, you'll tend to use your lats more. And, and the lats really a better muscle for, for the swim motion. So underwater, I'd say that what I'm mainly seeing is you're pulling with a straight arm as opposed to a high elbow. And that left arm, the elbow is slipping just a little bit, or you're you're initiating the stroke, and then it starts as a straight arm pull, and then the elbow leads the stroke back just slightly. It's not terrible, but uh, you know I can see it. The right arm is really just a straight pull down, and then kind of pull back. At the end of the video, there's some still frames, so you can get a frame by frame look at both sides of your stroke. You can also see, you know, how much your your hips rotate. So I'd work on I'd work on trying to eliminate some of that some of that hip rotation, keeping your upper body rotating, making sure you're extending well, the shoulders going forward, all that you want to do. And then here you just get a view of where your hands are coming in. So they're going right up to your center line. It's not bad. You might try pulling a little wider at the beginning. Alright, so right side, good extension, and then you can see you get a bit of a glide here as you're continuing to rotate. So just a bit too much when you break it down like that. Then you start the stroke, it's straight arm, straight arm. So pretty much a straight arm pull. At some point there you would have wanted to see the, the forearm in hand at a different angle than the upper arm. You would want the forearm and hand to go vertical and the upper arm would still be extended forward. You have a nice finish on the stroke. And left arm, so good extension. And then you start the, start the pull. So starting with the straight arm, pulling down. And see how the elbow is leading just slightly there? So you would want that hand and forearm to be straight up and down in that, at that point rather than angled uh, forward. And may, maybe just the slightest bit of internal hand rotation as you go under your body. And then another good finish here. So I hope that all helps.